Hey everyone, today in this video I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint this Palmetto KS-47 pistol. Um, I'm going to be using dish soap as basically a stencil. Um, the dish soap and the spray paint do not mix, as you can imagine. And that allows you to just drizzle on some soap for a stencil, essentially. Um, or a reverse stencil, I guess. And then, yeah, you add your colors. And then once that dries, you can just rinse off the soap and do another layer if you'd like. So first, just got some rubbing alcohol to get any potential grease and clean your gun off so the paint, um, the paint stays and sticks better. Some tape, if you want to tape anything off. I've got a dark coffee bean brown and then a Italian olive, uh, Spanish moss, which is a bit darker, and a camouflage khaki. I might be using a matte river rock um, tan, I guess, a, and maybe this old ass can of Montana black, which is like a darker khaki beige, and some black. Um, so I've done this a little bit the experiment with. Here are some mags that I've recently painted. Um, I think these turned out pretty neat. Um, it's a, it's a unique, a unique pattern I don't think I've really seen before. And then I ended up doing this AKP mag. Um, I liked how this one turned out a lot. Um, really like this. This is going to be the goal for this gun here. Um, so yeah, let's get everything prepped and go outside. All right, we got the pistol all prepped, ready to go. I hung it up for the first layer because that's just going to be the easiest way to get a nice even coat without having to flip it around and touch it. I'm going to start off with the camouflage, camo beige. Kathy. Kathy. tip to clean out your nozzle and done just hold it upside down spray it till it's clear these shitty nozzles will clog over time and then your paint cans wasted all right we have the first layer of paint dry while it's still hanging up I'm going to use I had this um, fake flower laying around I'm gonna use this to kind of do some light stencils um, just to add some gradient um, on, on this first layer. Um, gradients really make the, the designs look pretty cool, kind of think um, multi-cam. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Italian olive. It is a satin, so it's not matte. That is not ideal. So that's why I'm just gonna kind of miss this a little bit and not do too, too much or too heavy in any spots. done and have a dry first layer of paint and first layer of the khaki along with some misting of the olive green. I think that kind of looks neat. Um, 
the edges aren't too hard and there's not too much of it. It's still mostly khaki. And yeah, we're about ready for the fun part, the nerve wracking part, the mystery part, the dish soap. And I just use an old hand soap pump container. I think it just makes it easier to apply the, the soap. Um, yeah, and also, by the way, I did remove the bolt carrier group and the spring and follower for the magazine before I painted the first layer. Um, you know, just get some internals out of the way because you're going to end up just drenching this whole gun after the first layer of soap. And I was too lazy to remove the trigger group, so whatever. Not, not a big deal. So the first color is gonna be, or the two colors I'm gonna use for this soap layer is a Spanish moss and a coffee bean. And again, I'm gonna use two colors um, similar to the first layer. And the idea is the colors kind of blend in together and have some, some nice gradients go in here and there. And just, I don't know, it makes, instead of just one color, you got two colors working together. Um, I think it makes for a uh, good outcome. So yeah, you want to just beforehand visualize which areas of the previous layer that you like. For instance, yeah, like this area, I'll probably try to keep some of this. Um, so yeah, you want to visualize what you want to keep first. And I'll probably apply, I don't know, maybe I'll probably cover a third of the gun with soap, I'm thinking, something like that. And you need to work fast. Once once you're ready to apply the soap, you need to go fast. Man, this part is nerve wracking. I've only painted small magazines this way. So I'm going to try to go fast. I think I'm gonna do buttstock first in the handguard and do the receiver part last since that's most important visually and to the eye so that's where i'll put my focus on i think Fit. Nothing too heavy everywhere right now. Alright. Put the green. Now we do some bits of brown. This one I'm gonna just do like some stripes. Because on this one I do want more green than brown. Side a little bit. All right, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Um, I think I got it how I want it. Mostly green with some brown. It's a damn mess right now, but it's gonna start running, or it means already running. I'm just gonna let this dry. Uh, probably 10, 15 minutes or so. Probably longer. The longer, the better. Just be safe. Because, yeah, if that's not dry all the way and you hit it with water, you're gonna really mess it up. Awesome. All right, do the brace. I know I said stock last time, but it is definitely not stock. You want to just kind of remember what what the other side looks like. You know, you don't want to 
put way too much or too little soap. spraying down like this it always helps to spray on something vertically or horizontally or whatever to make sure you, the paint is flowing through right it starts to lose pressure when you do it this way for the fun part. Sick. Oof, it's a clean gun now. Awesome. really happy with this. I almost want to keep it like this. Pretty cool. All right, so yes, I'm gonna put a lot of soap down on this just to keep a lot of what's already here. So I'll start with the brace. I want to make sure I keep some of this khaki. since I just used this on the last layer. Sweet. Now I'm going to do a bit more brown. I just don't want to use black. This brown is pretty dark as it is. Now, a lot of this is just dusty. I just want to get some, some dusting on top of the more solid colors. This looks cool. All right. Don't push it too far. I think it looks good. See all the soap, tons of soap. This last layer not applied too thick. Looks cool. All right, we'll let this dry and then I think I'm just gonna flip it back over. Still looking at the spots you wanna keep. That's basically what's all that's going through my head is, ooh, I like that, ooh, I like that. Eh, not so much, I'll get rid of that.
like before. Pretty soapy. Just misting on some paint. All right, let's let this dry and then wash this bastard child of mine off. All right, guys, this wonky AR-15 that takes the AK mags is done and painted. And I've got to say, I am really happy with the results. Happy I went ahead and did the second layer of soap. The misting of the paint on the last layer really helps break up some, some patterns and some larger shapes, and it adds some different colors. For instance, this brown here that was misted on top of some, looks like khaki, came out a lighter brown than the um, other brown that was more solid. And you kind of get that same thing going on throughout with uh, some of the misting of the paint. Once I was done washing this out completely, just drenched it for a few minutes, I broke the Took the two uppers apart and set them in front of a fan for a few hours. I'm just making sure everything is nice and dry. I did go ahead and add a layer of a matte clear finish. And that kind of helps, I think, um, flatten out the image a little bit and the, the pattern... Um, it kind of flattens out the pattern in terms of you don't see raised um, paint layers as much. And yeah, I'm very happy with this. I think this turned out very cool. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think this camo looks like. I guess it looks the most like multicam. Um, a little different. Definitely dig it. And the cool thing too is you can, with the paint, with the soap method, you can get in and put patterns on your barrel. And that seems, it's another cool benefit to this, this style of painting. Yeah, thanks for checking out this video. Let me know what you think.